questions. Questions, questions. What is this? What are you doing? What is a bumblebee? What happened? Where are we going? Children of five, between five to ten years, are constantly asking questions. They're bombarding their mothers with questions. It is a natural nature's way given to them for learning about the world. Between five and ten, the instinct of curiosity is at its highest. The children want to find out about the world and the children are constantly asking questions. The deaf children also want to ask questions but they don't have the language. So anybody working with the deaf children have to give them the language and the ability, the vocabulary, the sentence structure to be able to ask questions, understand questions asked and be able to answer them. But the most important thing for the deaf child to do is to be able to ask questions. Where are we going, mommy? What is this? What is a bumblebee? When will Papa come back? These are some of the ways we are showing you where the mother can encourage the children to start asking questions. What this is, children? No, I don't know what it is. Do you know what this is? No, I do you know what this is? You don't know? Say, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, then ask me. You also don't know? Oh, very good. You also don't know? No, you don't know. Okay, then ask me. Teacher, what is this? Nicely. Now, teacher, what is this? Nicely. Teacher, what is this? This is a caterpillar. Oh, you asked me what is this? Very nice. I didn't even tell him. Oh, yes, you. They want to ask questions. What is this? This is a caterpillar. I told you. Now I ask you. Okay? Prisha, what is this? That's right. Ritik, what is this? It is caterpillar. What is this? What is this? So I'll tell you. This is a caterpillar. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. One way is to ask the question and give the answer yourself. Go on asking the question and give the answer yourself. Right, this is a caterpillar. What is the caterpillar doing? You know? No. Then ask me, teacher, what is the caterpillar doing? Ask. And then, what is caterpillar doing? I'll tell you. Huh? What is caterpillar doing? Ask me. What is the caterpillar doing? You ask. What is the caterpillar doing? I hope you the caterpillar is crawling on the tick on the leaf. It is eating the leaf. The caterpillar, look at the picture. The caterpillar is eating the leaf. You remember? We saw it that day. The caterpillar is eating the leaf. The caterpillar is eating the leaf. Yes, that's yeah. Now let me ask you the question. What is the caterpillar doing? The caterpillar is eating. That's right. What is the caterpillar doing? 
No. What is the caterpillar doing? The caterpillar is eating. The caterpillar is eating. The caterpillar is eating. The leaf. Yes, that is what the caterpillar is doing. Do you know who this is? I know. Huh? Very nice. Yes, this is a peacock. Who is this? Yeah. Oh, that's right. This is a peacock. That's right. Who is this? It is a peacock. Yes. Who is this? Oh, yes. This is a peacock. I hope you got a little bit. This? My God, you'll have to cut. <laughs> okay. Who is this? Peacock. This is a peacock. What is a peacock? What is a peacock? Peacock is an animal. Animal? What is a peacock? Peacock is a bird. Yeah, sit down below. Peacock is a bird. That's right. What is a peacock? Yes, the peacock is a bird. Yes. Yes, the peacock is a bird. What is a peacock? Peacock is a bird. Come on, what is a peacock? Peacock is a bird. Peacock is not an animal. Peacock is not an animal. Not an animal. Peacock is not an animal. Yes. To be able to answer what is a peacock, the children need to be given generic nouns, class names as we call them. Birds, animals, books, toys, clothes, food, flowers, these are generic nouns. And everything belongs to a class, every single thing belongs to a class. The vocabulary of class names is very important and it must, this question must be asked. Okay. Do you know what a bumblebee is? Do you know what a bumblebee is? See, I don't know what is a bumblebee. I don't know what is a bumblebee. You say that nicely. I don't know. What is a bumblebee? It's a lovely word to say. Okay, say that part. I don't know. What is a bumblebee? Ask like that. I don't know. I don't know. What is a bumblebee? What is a bumblebee? You don't know? You ask. What is a bum? I don't know. Nicely, nicely, loudly. I don't know. What is a bumblebee? Okay. Bumblebee is a big black insect. Understand? Yes. Big black Insect. You know what an insect is? Insect is a class name. So, children come across words. They have no idea. They pronounce them. And very often they come to the mother. Mommy, what is a bumblebee? What is a platypus? Mommy can answer these questions by saying, platypus is a sort of an animal. Bumblebee is a sort of a insect.